So Attila has a new song out. And they also have, have told me what's going to happen. They have told me the future. They are clairvoyant, in case you don't know. Fun fact for you of the day. Uh, they have told me that Guilty Pleasure, their album, which is coming out in uh, no, uh, November the 24th, I believe, or right before Thanksgiving, haha, is the album of the year. So I might as well just stop. I might as well just give up and concede, and I'll take the rest of the year off. Now, I'll get really bored, so we're not going to do that. Let's talk about this song. Let's talk about Guilty Pleasure. Uh, whenever the last album came out, I actually had someone else take care of that, which nobody found to be all that funny, because Attila's serious business, guys. Even though they're a band that is, from what most people have told me, is really fun at a party, and aside from that, what the fuck ever. So, for being really fun at a party, they can't exactly take jokes very well whenever they involve their band being the butt of it, which I understand, because nobody wants to see their favorite band get made fun of by some dude on the internet, but sometimes these are bands that kind of do it to themselves. Really, whenever I think of an Attila party, I think of a bunch of people, a bunch of a bunch of white guys wearing tank tops and some, some gym shorts walking out of a Vitamin World or a GNC with those those big gigantic bottles that they use to make little mixes for protein and and strength and muscles that way they could be they could be ripped and go to the gym bro and 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 really their skin tone even though they talk like they're kind of you know blackish is still so white it looks like Russia threw up all over the mall but let's talk about proving ground uh, let's stop talking about the people that listen to this garbage because it is garbage this is dated sounding and I was calling Deathcore kind of dated a couple of years ago. I still consider it metal. Uh, that's been proven. However, it sounds even more dated on this song. It sounds almost like something from 2009, 2010, whenever people first started to really express their opinion about Deathcore being kind of, kind of monotonous, kind of very monochromatic, something that doesn't have a lot of texture or, or real flavor to it, something that kind of just does the same thing constantly and calls it brutal and tries to make it as heavy as possible, because that's all that matters. That's what Proving Ground sounds like. Deathcore, 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 breakdown, 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 entire song, inspirational sort of kind of lyrics about how if you get that on the ground, you pick yourself back up and you put them on the ground, so who's the faggot now? So who's the faggot now? I couldn't believe the first time I heard this that I heard it. Who, in their right mind, thinks that this is a great lyrical concept? Don't answer that question. It was rhetorical because I also know the answer, because clearly Attila did. So who's the faggot now? Now, I'm not even looking at this from the perspective that many people will of, of offense, because I'm not that easily, you know, kind of, you know, jilted and jaded and, and miffed. But it's just something that you don't really need to do. It's something that really isn't required. This is almost like you'd be better off saying, so who's the fuckhead now? So who's the asshole now? So who's the bitch now, bitch? It would almost work better than this. This sounds juvenile. This actually makes Limp Biscuits lyrical concepts sound like a good idea and actually in practice sound as though Fred means it, as opposed to, you know, him just talking about experiences from whenever he was 13, which he still thinks he is. So who's the faggot now? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you, I, I actually have done some research. I have a lab here that I have slaved over a hot lab coat, a hot lab assistant, and also some, you know, beakers, Bunsen burners, and, 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 and some strange concoctions in order to determine the answer to this now already. Already, only hours after this question was proposed, it has become an age-old question. Who is the faggot now? The answer, Attila, is yourselves. You are indeed the faggots now. For thinking that putting that as a hook to your song, to your little deathcore anthem that sounds like 2009 called and said, Hey guys, I'm still cool, let's party again. And you said... All right, we're bored. You guys are. This song is dull. You know, for Deathcore, for something that's claimed to be such a brutal endeavor, 
For something that's claimed to be all about a little bit of fun, this really doesn't sound all of that fun and brutal and aggressive. This sounds tired. This sounds tedious. It sounds boring. It doesn't have a lot of style to it. It doesn't have that much flair to it. I understand it's supposed to be direct in your face. Punch him right in the face, man! Come on, bro, get up! Get up, goddammit! But it just doesn't have the same punch as it did. Is it heavy? Yeah. Is it brutal? To some it will be. Is it aggressive? And does it sound like there's been steroids injected into the guitars? Sure. Why not? Even in the drums, in the bass, and even in your vocalist. Why not? He's hugging a damn koala bear. He can't be that bad. But this is just... It's dull. It's not offensive to me. It's a stupid concept. It really didn't need to happen. But it's dull. This album won't be the best album of the year if this is the single you're using to lead up to it. And some may say, well, Cover Killer Nation, you have a pre-existing bias. This will obviously not be the album of the year for you because you have a pre-existing bias. People can change. I just watched Rocky IV, so inspiration. Haha, <laughs> hang that on a fucking poster. But people could change. If you could change my mind with this album, Attila, then maybe, just maybe, your clairvoyance shall come true. For right now, if every song on this album sounds similar to this one, much like every song that you've done previous to this, this album will no doubt be just another mockery. A mockery even to Deathcore. Because there's been some actually decent Deathcore released this year. This doesn't look like it's going to be one of them. And that really shouldn't pain me to say as much as it just did, but dramatic effect, acting classes, I'm still not taking them. What did you guys think about Proving Ground from Attila? What are you guys expecting from Guilty Pleasure? Is this band your Guilty Pleasure? Does this actually have, does this title have relevance? Or is this just something that falls flat and, if anything, you're more pummeling it to death and laughing in its face. Let me know in the comments. I actually really want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, uh, am I wrong? If I'm wrong, that's cool. We can have the difference of opinion. Uh, that works. Or uh, are you kind of in agreeance that this song just kind of falls flat? Let me know.